being just. So, you know, uh, the mic is yours. All right, Arlan. Please mute uh, our microphone si para si Arlan Malina. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, yun, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Uh, ayun. Uh, yun, wala. Gusto ko muna magpasalamat no, sa mga nag-invite sa akin kasi napakalaking tulong Band of Brothers sa akin uh, itong pandemic. Uh, yun, gusto ko magpasalamat sa mga DP <coughs> Abet, no? Sa Kasiwak, sinibayad nila ako dito. And maraming salamat sa heart ng mga disciple, no? Na, na nag, uh, nag-share ng mga message kasi talagang very encouraging, no? Uh, lalo itong, ano, itong panahon na to. Yun, and gusto ko, ano, uh, yun, magpasalamat sa inyong lahat. Kuya Coco, ayun kila Kuya Do, uh, sa pag-organize nito. Okay? Ah, uh, share ko yung screen ko po. Sana marunong ako. Ay, pa- Kuya Dom, pwedeng pakiano. Okay na po, sir. Okay na, bro. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Ayun. Kasa na ba yun? Ah. Saglit ka. Marcel muna. <laughs> oh, Arlan. Para sa pangangailangan nyo sa almusal, murder ah. po kayo. Po kay Louie. Commercial po yan. <laughs> Alright. Ako. Commercial oh, muna. Mga kapatid. At, uh, at strawberry cake. Time oh, strawberry cake. Pag-ilangan nyo po ng uh, strawberry, from TJ. strawberry mga cakes from Baguio. Si TJ oh. Rabena po. Ako, wag. Huwag kayo model. Mamatay kayo. Sobrang sarap. Sobrang sarap. Grabe. Sobrang sarap, Leo. Oo. Oh, oh. Ay, Kuya Coco. Ayoko, ayoko nga tikman, bro. Kuya Coco. Oh, yes, sir. Di ba kaka-encourage mo lang sa akin? Ay, ito na pala. Yeah. All right. Next slide. All right. Go, <laughs> oh, Arlan, bro. Sam. Na- nakamute ata si Arlan. Ay, sure, man. Ay, uh, sorry ah. Uh, uh, medyo hindi ako marunong sa technical eh. Pero ayun, let's pray first mga bros. Ayun, uh, Heavenly Father God in heaven, good morning. Uh, thank you so much God uh, for this uh, wonderful time God that you uh, bless me to share uh, about uh, uh, the message uh, this morning about the uh, topic God and I pray please help me be with me uh, help me God to just to please you father even I don't know how to do this but uh, still father you allowed me and you God uh, maraming maraming salamat po for your grace and uh, uh, be with us God and we love you we pray this God in the mightiest name of your son Jesus Christ our Lord Amen uh, nakikita niyo po yung screen ko Yes, bro. Okay, malinaw naman po. Okay. Uh, good morning, no? Ayun, uh, sabi ko nga kanina, maraming maraming salamat sa sa lahat, sa mga brothers, no? Sa effort nyo, sa uh, pag-organize nitong uh, Band of Brothers. Kasi talaga napaka-helpful, no? Sa buhay nating mga Kristiyano, no? Uh, yun, ang topic natin ngayong umaga is uh, being just and upright uh, from the book of uh, no, The Measure of Men, no? Uh, na. Uh, first ano, gusto ko muna i-share yung ano, yung 
uh, yung kinuha kong dalawang story na summary no. Uh, dito sabi dito sa book no, the writer of this book si Jin no, si Jin Get Saba, exercise being just and upright in caring no at the moment when it wasn't easy. Uh, kasi his, his former student did stop by his office unannounced. Uh, he, he opened out about his troubled marriage, no? his embarrassment and hurt, heartache as a pastor, uh, his frustration that uh, led to divorce and him eventually leaving the ministry. So he was so hurting with anger and bitterness. He needed someone no? willing to listen and talk to. Had this been denied from him to the bridge to recovery, would have been uh, hidden from him as well. Thankfully, the Lord uh, enabled Jim to demonstrate his quality to make the right decision at the right uh, moment, being available for this man. No, ito yung, yung, yung isang story. It's about injustice. No, uh, yun, a lot of injustice occur in this world. Uh, one story tells about Lionel Getter, no, who was sentenced to life in prison for. Uh, for 177 days for uh, allegedly robbing $615 uh, from a fried chicken restaurant in Texas. Getter was well-respected engineer and had no police record, but he experienced racial uh, prejudice and uh, had this uh, case handled by the police in shameful way. Ayan. Yon ang, ang main uh, scripture natin today is uh, ang pinaka pinagkuhaan nito is yung sa uh, Titus chapter 1 no. Sabi dito, rather he must enjoy uh, having guests in his home and he must love what is a good. He must live wisely and be just. He must live and devote and discipline life. And etong Titus na to nung binasa ko, eto yung time na ano eh na iniwan si Titus uh, nila Paul, di ba? Sa, sa sa Crete para tapusin yung mga ano eh yung 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 mag, mag appoint ng mga elders and and blah blah. Ah. Uh, 'Yon. Ah uh, tinignan ko sa ano sa tinignan ko sa sa uh, dictionary yung ibig sabihin ng just yung dikayos no sa sa Greek. No sabi rito uh, dinipain siya righteous observing divine laws in a wide sense upright righteous virtuous keeping the commands of God of those uh, sabi dito, of those who seems to themselves to be righteous who pride themselves to be righteous who pride themselves in a, in their virtues whether real or imagined innocent faultless guiltless uh, use of him whose way of thinking feeling and acting is fully conformed to the will of god and uh, who therefore needs no rectification in the heart of life yon Ah, uh, yung yung dikay sabi rito, your salvation experience, no? For the sabi rito, for by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves. Uh, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Sabi sa Ephesians 2, uh, verse 8, 9 sa New King James Version. Sabi rito, your walk with Christ, uh, uh, equality of Christian maturity according to Paul. Uh, a just man is equitable, fair, and impartial. A just man is someone who is righteous and upright in all of his relationship. Being just involves the right uh, decision at the right moment, no? And then, yung, kung makikita natin sa story, makikita nyo, si, si Jean Getz, no? Uh, demonstrate him being just, no? Towards his former student, di ba? And yun, uh, uh, it's God. Kasi nakabacktrack si ano, nakabacktrack yung, yung, yung former student niya. Nakabalik sa dating buhay. So, bumalik sa ministry. And yun. And nakakita ko ng scripture, no? From, uh, sabi ron, uh, nakita ko rito, that, uh, yung ginawa ni Jean, ni Jean Getz, katulad ng ginawa ni Jesus Christ, who demonstrated being just towards a paralytic, di ba? Who didn't have anyone else to help him. Diba sabi doon sa John 5, uh, 1, 7. Ayun. Ako, uh, I remember, no, uh, uh, if, if I was not given an time and effort by the man who reached out to me, no, I would not have learned about uh, God's love and grace to have a new life. No? Uh, during the time I was working at a brokerage company where bribery uh, is very common and where irregularities in, tra in transactions are practiced. Like, tolerating tax avoidance. Uh, yun. 
uh, before uh, 20 years ago, uh, I was offered to be pirated by another company. No? Uh, naalala ko nun, I was offered to have my own house and car in exchange for the corrupting of tax no? for one year. For one year, I remember that. Uh, Itatransfer ko lang sa kanila yun kasi ano, nagtrabaho rin ako sa mga sa mga forwarding. No? So may mga ma, uh, may mga hawak akong mga importer, mga garments, uh, mga outdoors, may nabargad ako na mga may business. No? Uh, hawak ko yung mga importation nila. And then, ang, ang mga offers sa akin dati, yun nga, uh, uh, syempre, aside sa undervaluation, no? talagang undervaluation pa lang, talagang mabigat yun. Kasi, for example, Uh, yung parker na pinasok mo as an importer, no? ikaklassify ko lang siya sa Bic o Reynolds. Ang laki ng difference ng tax, di ba? Tapos kayang-kaya namin ilabas yun sa, 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 sa Bureau of Custom. No? So, um, ganun yung mga racket namin noon. And at the same time, uh, kaya namin magbigay ng, uh, kaya namin magbigay ng, ng uh, 10% tax discount sa importer. Hindi binibigay ng Bureau of Custom yun, pero kaya namin ibigay yun. No? Naalala ko yun, mga panahon na yun. No? And, and at the same time, sa, sa, sa warehouse, pag ilalabas na yung binayaran ko na lahat, di ba? yung mga gano'n. Pagdating sa warehouse, pagdating sa warehouse, ilalabas na yung mga importation. Uh, minsan, uh, pagkasama namin yung mga evaluator, kasi bago mo ilabas, may evaluator. Eh. Check yung docs mo, yung, yung documents mo, kung accurate yung mga, pina, yung mga yung importation mo. No? If may may counting differential lang no yung mga misspell yung mga boxes mo walang port of origin malaking tara yun tinatarahan ka noon ang laking tara noon uh, pag pag nakipag pag ganto tinarahan ako depende sa value no may value ang bawa malaking value tinarahan ako sinabi niya sa akin boss 40 mil tara niyan eh kasi walang ganito yan eh. so yun minsan kapag uh, may idea ka about doon pwede kayong mag-meet ha po sabihin mo sa kanya boss ako dito sa ganito mga article, bla bla bla, no? Ah, uh, ganito 'yan. Baka pwedeng meet tayo halfway. O kung kung 40 hingi niya, 20 na lang, 'di ba? O tatawagan ko ngayon yung import. Ganoon, tatawagan mo ngayon yung importer, 'di ba? Pag tinawagan mo yung importer boss, may differential document mo eh. Ganito, wala mga port of origin. Tinatarahan 'to. Sasabihin mo naman ngayon, wag mo mark up pa ngayon 50% boss, 80. 'Di ba? Ganoon ang labanan. Ganoon ang labanan eh. Uh, 80, o papapadala ng pera, sabihin pa lang, tawa mo. O tatawaran, sabihin ko, oh, boss, 75 lang eh, binigay eh. O, tapos, papadala yung pera, bibigyan mo lang ng 20, kita ka na, di ba? Dami racket, dami racket sa custom. And then, sa mga tracking, sa mga ganun, dami, dami talaga. And ini-imagine ko, no, 20 years ago, siguro may sarili na akong tracking, isa may sarili na akong brokerage ngayon, no? Uh, ini-imagine ko yon uh, na ganun ang sitwasyon ko sana ngayon. Pero yon, uh, hindi ko tinanggap yon yung mga opportunities na yon, no? For the sake of my conviction, no? Kasi during that time, second year college ako, working student ako, disciple na ako, na reach out ako eh. And then hindi ko tinanggap yon because of God, uh, for the sake of my conviction. Uh, I remember during that time, ang salary 198 pesos. Chida chaga ako yon, yung 198 pesos na yon. Yun, yun talaga yung ano yun lang talaga yung yung pera ko. And then nag-iba ako ng trabaho, uh, parang naging uh, jack of all trades ako no. Napunta ako sa GMA 7. Trabaho ako dahil mountaineer ako, may mga skills ako pagdating sa mga high angle works no. So sa extra challenge, tagal ako, may ilang taon ako so nagsi-safety kami ng mga artist. Nawala yung extra challenge, nalipat ako sa nalipat ako sa Survivor Philippines, ganun pa rin, diving, uh, kung ano ano trabaho no. Ah, uh, 'yun tas nawala rin 'yun. And, and awesome 'no, nasa kingdom ako. Eh naalala ko binigyan pa ako ni Kuya Abit ng rocket dati, nag-install ng ng antenna ng CCTV camera, camera do sa Quiapo, 'no. Ah, uh, awesome si Kuya Abit. Eh. And then and uh, 'yun. Ah, uh, ginawa ko 'yung lahat ng bagay na 'yon uh, for the sake of, of God, for the sake of uprightness, for the sake of righteousness uh, kasi ayo kung ayo kung lamunin ako eh lamunin ako ng sistema no ng ganung klasing pamumuhay kasi iniisip ko syempre magiging disciple disciple, disciple yung mapapangasawa ko kung kakaanak ako di ba so so ang hirap di ba uh, imaginein mo yun yung ipapakain ko sa kanila no yun yung mga iniisip ko eh na manggagaling lahat doon no? sa sa racket sa loob ng 
ng euro. Ayan. Aha. Uy, sumobra. Sabi rito sa Romans chapter 1 verse 17, no? sa, New, sa King James Version. Uh, for uh, therein is the righteous of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Sobra. Sabi rito, all of the following are correct, incorrect. Uh, a person can be saved by works. A person can be saved by a mixture of faith and works. A person can be saved by faith and keep himself saved, saved by works. A person can be saved even though he doesn't demonstrate any works. Correct. Uh, we are saved by faith, but true faith will eventually produce works. Ayun. Uh, since naging uh, disciple ako, nagkaroon ako ng uh, faith, no? Nagkaroon ako ng faith at uh, conviction. And isinabuhay ko to. Isinabuhay ko talaga to. Uh, yung paniniwala ko at uh, paninindigan ko para kay God. Sabi rito, uh, positional righteousness Uh, when we put our faith in Jesus Christ for salvation, God sees us uh, being as righteous as Christ himself. Uh, this is the only way any person can ever be saved. No? Jesus Christ himself is our righteousness. Sabi sa 1 Corinthians chapter, uh, sa 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 30. But of him you are in Christ Jesus who became for us uh, wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Ah, uh, 'yun. Uh, remember yung story kanina, 'di ba? Si 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 Lenel Getter, no? Ah, uh, um yan, uh, wrongly accused, no? And then meron akong ano, another example, no, of injustice, no? Kasi injustice yung nangyari kay Lenel Getter. Sabi dito, ah, uh, uh, another example of injustice, men who have gotten women pregnant out of wedlock. And then left them to bear the burden that result resulted from a moment of lust and self-indulgence or worse. Yet, they escape their responsibilities and payoffs and help the women the women get abortion. No? Uh, totoo yun. Dami nangyayari noon. Uh, maski dito sa paligid ko, maraming ganon. Uh, prior to being a Christian, no, there were women no, who would approach me to have an affair no, with, but I did not respond. Uh, may mga friend ako na hindi ko alam kasi mga kaibigan ko, mga babae, no? uh, mga stable na they are willing to settle. No? And during that time, medyo lugmuk ako eh. Di ba? <laughs> Ang hirap eh. Um, uh, ano, hindi ko, hindi, hindi ko sila, no? hindi ko, hindi ko sila, hindi dahil nag-inarte ako. No? Ang conviction ko kasi, hindi ko sila kayang buhayin. Uh, uh, way back then, ano, okay, broken family ang father ko tatlo ang asawa. <laughs> Oo, eh, 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 nakita ko 'yun, nakita ko 'yun na uh, uh, hindi ko kayang hindi ko kayang ano mag uh, sa sa heart ko, hindi ko kaya magturo ng pamilya nang hindi ako ready, no? Uh, hindi ko kaya 'yun. And then uh, kung, kung papasukin ko 'yun, uh, wala uh, kawawa yung babae, kawawa yung mga anak ko. So 'yun yung nasa thinking ko during that time, no? Kaya kaya yung mga yung mga yung mga kaibigan ko no na na gusto ng relationship or one night stand nako tablahan tayo ganun ang labanan namin no and eh, yun naalala ko uh, isa pang uh, naalala ko no natatrap ako dito nagtatrabaho ako sa isang forward forwarding company no lagi ako inaasar ng boss ko na tanda-tanda ako na raw hindi pa ako nakaka-experience pa kipag one night stand sa ganun linabas kami lahat boom men kumunit ng ano dalawang container na ano sa deklaran yun ang gastos namin no dun sa bar binigyan ako ng babae binigyan ako ng pag hindi ko na ginawa yun tatanggalin niya ako kinabukasan eh kailangan ko ng trabaho grabe yung threaten sa akin dito and ang hirap pag natrap no uh, natrap sa ganung sitwasyon pero uh, yun uh, god gave me a way out no grabe ang awesome ni god during that time disciple na ako nito ang awesome ni god na uwi na lang kami sa ano interview no yung babae kasama ko sa kwarto ini-interview ko siya kung bakit niya pinasok yung trabaho na yun 
And and sabi niya wala siyang papagatas ng anak niya, no? At 21 years old lang siya nung ano nung nung nakakwentuhan ko siya, no? And uh, yun, ang masakit doon, uh, kinausap ako ng babae. Sabi ng babae, sabihin mo sa boss mo, may nangyari sa atin pag nagtanong para mabayaran ako. So sa madalit sinta, ganun yung naging senaryo. No? And sabi dito sa Matthew 1.19, New King James uh, Version. No? Then Joseph, her husband being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. No? And uh, dito kung makikita natin, si Joseph is a shining example. No? Uh, a just man, he was concerned for Mary. Uh, because he was a just man, he understood her plight and the price she was paying to be the mother, uh, mother of the Son of God. No, he didn't want to expose her to public disgrace. No, because imagine mo, di ba? Kakasal pa lang sila ng, ng time na to, eh, di ba? Um, nung nangyari yung uh, nung nangyari yung situation na yon. But mercifully, God stepped in and assured Joseph that their predicament and humiliation were only temporary. And well worth it when the angel sang from heaven. Sabi sa Luke chapter 2 uh, verse 14. Uh, yun yung point of action. As someone you trust to help you evaluate your relationship with, with others regarding the extent you are just fair, impartial, and equitable. Your relationship with your wife. Uh, your relationship with your children. Uh, your relationship with your neighbors. Uh, your relationship with your fellow employees, and your relationship uh, with others. Ito, thinking and growing together. No, the following, the excuse me, the following questions are designed for group discussion. After reading and studying the content of this chapter, uh, when did you understand what it means to be justified by faith? Uh, would you share your salvation experience? Why is it easy to get confused regarding how a person is saved? Uh, what experience have you had or observed where people have been treated unjustly? How could things have been handled differently? Can you think of your of relationship where you would like to be treated more fairly and equitably? Would you share these concerns for prayer? Uh, can you think of relationship where you would like to be more uh, just and fair in your dealings with others? Would you share these concerns for prayer? Set a goal. Uh, uh, write uh, out a goal you'd like to achieve as a result of this study. Thank you for listening. Good morning. Amen. Maraming salamat, Arlan. Thank you for uh, your sharing, your topic. Grabe. Uh, Napaka-importante nitong uh, ibinahagi mong ito. Unang-una, number one, yung uh, pananampalataya natin, being just uh, and upright. Diba? Napaka-halaga nito, lalo-lalo na sa ating pananampalataya. Yung sinasabi mo na uh, faith uh, produced by work, yung pananampalataya natin sa ating Panginoon ang mag-uudyok sa atin para gumawa ng mga kabutihan. So, bro, maraming salamat. Bro, talagang uh, napakaganda and uh, excited kami. Excited ako para bukas ma-share natin itong mga bagay na natutunan natin ngayong umaga. Bro, maraming maraming salamat. Alam mo, oh, uh, baka mayroong mga brother na gustong mag-share uh, dyan about uh, today's topic. Si, sino ba nagtataas ang kamay kanina? <coughs> teka, ha? Oh, uh, yan, 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 yan. Sino yun? Si Louis ba yun? Ako yun, bro. Oh, yan. Okay, okay. Sige, bro. Share na ako, ah. Uh... This is awesome to ano to encourage every day no lalo na pag may mga brother na ganto uh, talaga gusto ko talaga ano una na bro uh, Arlan I just wanna ano uh, encourage you bro and lift you up because of the 
the message na binigay mo and uh, talagang ano bro uh, very ano uh, uh, tawag dito talagang ma-apply natin na, na apply ko sa buhay ko yon yung just kasi as of now parang titingnan mo talaga the world is not just di ba there's only one uh, na just kundi si God lang pero sa experience na sinare mo kanina uh, was ano um, baga na encourage ako dun sa the point na yung inoperan ka ng babae na I think ano most of the disciples here even we are disciples it's hard to ano na tanggihan yung ganung pagkakatao na lalo na kayo nandoon kayo dalawa mag uh, dalawa lang kay sa loob ng kwarto but you bro parang mas matindi pa si Joseph to bakbo ikaw in interview mo kinausap mo pa di ba is alam mo temptation eh di ba so gan, galing ako kasi sa ganyang ano eh ganyang uh, background nung hindi pa ako disciple so bro ikaw uh, I think yung word ni God, yung yung faith mo bro, yun yung ano, yun yung yun yung yun yung na-encourage ako bro sa message mo na talagang sabi mo kanina gospel to yon. Sabi nga by this gospel you are saved sabi sa 1 Corinthians 15 15:2 no. To yon na pag nasa puso talaga yung yung Biblia no, yung pagiging just sa lahat ng bagay, sa lahat ng aspeto ng pagiging Kristiyano natin, ma-apply natin yun. Bro, maraming maraming salamat. Uh, napakaganda ng mensahe mo, Kuya Arlan. Thank you for uh, an awesome message, bro. Thank you.